Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about some low-hanging fruit, an undervalued piece of Hot Wheels that you should definitely have on your radar, and it is none other than the 2022 Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt set from RLC. Now, it's quite the phenomenon because I feel like everybody right now is so focused on wrapping up 2023 whether it's super treasure hunts or premium chases or car culture sets and everybody's obviously got their sights set on 2024 all the cool new releases and castings that are going to be coming out and everybody forgot about 2022 but right now guys is the time to buy i feel like this super treasure hunt set has definitely hit its low or pretty close to bottoming out from a value standpoint Right now, secondary market, these super treasure hunt sets are sitting at about $400 to $450. This one in particular, I just picked this up off of eBay about a week ago for $405. After shipping and taxes, it came out to about $428 total, which, as you guys will see in a second here, was a steal because the value inside of this box is way more than $428. Well, let's get this bad boy open so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So hopefully that rings a bell for you guys, but the 2022 Super Treasure Hunt set that includes the EK9 Honda Civic, or as the collective community calls it, the Golden Nugget. So you know it's a sought after Super Treasure Hunt when the community as a whole gives it a nickname. This by far is one of the nicest Super Treasure Hunts that we've seen in the last five to six years, guys, of collecting. But yeah, this is the set that is, as of right this second, is very undervalued so let's break it down by car level starting with the ak super treasure hunt the 55 chevy bel air which is very closely associated to the ever popular 55 bel air gasser in spectra flame blue this super treasure hunt right now secondary market sitting in that 30 dollar price point then you got the other golden nugget out of the 2022 Super Treasure Hunt set, the BMW CSL race car. Actually looks pretty good. I like the wheel combination on here and the red base. Secondary market right now sitting at $30. And then you got the very popular reused rides, which a lot of folks were hunting for last year because these are cars that are designed and inspired by Ryu Asada himself. This one being the Dodge Van, which is a great combination of both Eastern and Western car culture scenes. Looks nice in this Spectra Flame Fuchsia. Got the little go-kart in the back. Right now, secondary market. This is sitting at $20. And every Super Treasure Hunt set is incomplete without a truck. And for 2022, we got the 63 Studebaker Champ, which prior to was only really an RLC or premium release. But we finally got it in the main line and as... A super treasure hunt in these nice earth tones. You got the red truck bed in the back. You got kind of racing checkered flag graphics there. I do like this pewter golden color on the car. It really ties nicely with that black spectra flame and nice wheel combination. Kind of gives it a JDM vibe. Right now, secondary market, this is sitting at $25. Then you got this gorgeous 2020 Corvette C8, the first time that Corvettes ever got the mid-engine treatment. This one portrays it very well in Hot Wheels fashion. I do like these stock five-spoke wheels that they put on there. It just feels like something you would see right out the showroom floor. The other first of this cast is the fact that it's the first time we ever saw this C8 Corvette in the main line. Prior to, we saw it in the Hot Wheels ID lineup, which is why we don't get a new model for 2022 logo on the card. But we all know that it is new. And again, it just looks great. A lot of Corvette collectors out there, I'm sure. And they would definitely love to add this to the collection. Secondary market right now sitting at $35. And what more can I say about the Golden Nugget, the 99 Honda Civic Type R EK9? I mean, I've been praising this car for the last two years. Go and check out my other videos if you want to know more about this Super Treasure Hunt here. 
Secondary market right now sitting at 180 and honestly, I've seen it go all the way up to about 220. Then you got the Kefa Racer for all the VW fans, which is basically the ultimate version of a VW bug, super tricked out for drag racing or road racing. I really like the color combination on this car, the deep amber spectra flame with these nice copper metallic spectra flame four spoke wheels offset in size and they're very unique i don't know if these have ever been put on any other premium or super treasure hunt but right now secondary market this kefir goes for 30 dollars then kicking out the second half of super treasure hunts for 2022 you got the 2020 jaguar f type very underwhelming but I think that's the vibe they were trying to go with. Very elegant, very clean cut, gray on gray, Spectra Flame. Right now, secondary market, this is sitting at $25. Then being underwhelmed to being overwhelmed with this custom 2018 Ford Mustang GT. This car just tickles all the senses with the bright red Spectra Flame. Differing color wheels, six spokes, white interior, crazy horse graphics, and a moving chin spoiler. But it's what you come to expect with Hot Wheels and Super Treasure Hunts. Right now, secondary market sitting at $25. Then there's the JDM Legend, the original Nissan Skyline GTR, although they call this one the GTX. But this one, the Koska in this spectra flame green or pretty close to die cash green and it's kind of got a green hue to the watanabe wheels as well too this one super popular when it was debuted and released even to this day still very sought after sitting at a 50 dollars price point right now and yet another legend this time a lamborghini an italian supercar from back in the 70s the mira sv really love this color combination this nice deep orange spectra flame wheel combination looks really good staggered fitment which isn't probably realistic but it looks good in hot wheels form right now secondary market this bad boy is sitting at 45 dollars and then you got this brilliant purple 84 mustang svo i mean the fox bodies have definitely made a comeback in the diecast game especially with all the Mustang Cobra R's that we've been seeing in convention and RLC. This one, no exception right now, secondary market. It's sitting at $45. And station wagons are ever popular. This being the 94 Audi Yvonne RS2. Nice Spectre Flame Black. Looks kind of gray, but I love the Aerodisc wheel choice there. Secondary market on this is sitting at $35. And for the last four or five years, we've been getting a golf livery themed car. And 2022, we got the 32 Ford. This honestly looks really good. I love the orange wheel combination. And this is a classic take on a hot rod. Just looks good. It's a casting that I personally collect. And I really like that added touch of the golf logo right there on the blower of the engine. This on the secondary market right now sitting at $35 and with the popularity of golf and the ever-growing collector fan base of golf can't imagine the value on this doesn't go up and last but not least you got the 81 Chevy Camaro super treasure hunt in this die cash green but this Camaro will always and forever remind me of the original Transformers movie with Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox even though it's in this nice green spectra flame right now secondary market this camaro guys sitting at 35 dollars so there you have it all 15 super treasure hunts from 2022 and by my math guys the grand total of all of these super treasure hunts comes out to 645 dollars way more than the 428 that I originally paid for the super set. And there's honestly so many different ways you can play this out from a Hot Wheels investing strategy standpoint. So for instance, if I wanted to keep the EK9 super and sell everything else, I would still end up with 465, which is again, higher than what I paid for for the full set. I guess you gotta tack on the fact that you'd probably have to ship out each one of these cars as you sell them. So basically 14 times $5 puts you at about 70, 75 dollars. 
that leaves you at a payback of $390, which would mean that you would still get an EK9 Super Treasure Hunt uncirculated from the Super Set for $35. But there is a bonus. As you know, you do get the display with this Super Set. And it's so interesting to see that this display right now on the secondary market sells alone for about $80 which means that you basically cover yourself and get that EK9 for free. So we know that the Super Treasure Hunt set from 2022 has immediate value right off the bat, but if you wanted to play the long game and just hold all 15 Super Treasure Hunts in this collector's RLC display, you could definitely do that and see the values grow as well too. Just based on what we know with Super Treasure Hunt sets in the past, for instance, going back to 2021, if you search those sold listings for that Super Treasure Hunt set, they're sitting at around 450 to 500. So if this 2022 Super Set were to get to that same level, you'd be looking at a profit of about $100. Going back to 2020, that Super Treasure Hunt set was one of the all-time greats where you got the GT40, you got the nissan gtr in the 25th anniversary and then you got the r32 as well a bunch of other notable supers in that year that super set the last sold listing was 690 basically 700 dollars if this 2022 super treasure hunt set were to get to that level which honestly i think it's a very strong candidate for that with the ek9 the golf liveried cars the lamborghini etc I mean, you're basically talking about a $200 to $250 profit. And going back even further to 2014, which I feel like is the all-time best Super Treasure Hunt class ever, where you got the 83 Silverado, you got the 55 Bel Air Gasser, and oh yeah, that's right, the Junamai designed Datsun 510 Wagon. Ever popular Super Treasure Hunts in that class. Right now, the latest sold listing for that superset is over a thousand dollars. So, what's to say in 10 years, the EK9, which we've already deemed one of the best super treasure hunts ever, doesn't explode this superset into that four figure territory? I mean, again, it's just me talking to the wind, it's just me crystal balling it, but man, I mean. The investment potential is definitely there as long as the EK9 Super is in the box. But that's what I got for you guys. Just wanted to share some knowledge of mine, giving you guys some low hanging fruit in case y'all still need to get some last minute Christmas shopping done or if you're just looking to invest in Hot Wheels. Let me know what your thoughts are, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.